So after I went through this whole experience of trying to get this binding on and kind of wanting to rip my hair out, I thought, you know, there's all these tutorials online, but they don't really tell you what it's like to really do some of these things. So on my blog, I wrote a piece that I called um, How to Sew Binding Onto a Quilt, a tutorial for beginners. It involves pouring yourself a cocktail <laughs> several times. It involves kicking your book across the room and then wondering where it is. And it was a little more truthful, um, or at least more revealing about what it can be like when you're first starting out. So that first piece, um, that's when people started to read my blog. That's when people kind of started to know who I was. And about a year after I wrote that, and I mean, people were linking to it from places like Denmark and South Africa. Um, somebody said, you know that, somebody wrote to me and said, you know that piece you wrote about the binding, you want to submit that to a magazine. And she suggested Quilter's Home magazine. Now, I don't know if you all knew Quilter's Home back in the day. It was around for a while again. It ended in about 2010, I think. Um, but it was a more irreverent kind of quilting magazine. And it, uh, they had fun with quilts and with quilting. And so I sent them my piece, and I got an answer in about 45 minutes, which was, yes, please, and please send more. <laughs> so they didn't end up publishing that um, one because it had been on the blog, but they asked for more. I gave them more, just making stuff up, and they said, we'd really like you to be our quilting humor columnist. <laughs> and so suddenly I had a column in a quilting magazine, and unfortunately, uh, Coulter's Home did not survive terribly long after that. In about 2010, uh, the company that owned it, which is the same that owns Fonz and Porter, Love of Quilting, and some of those other ones, they shut it down. But the uh, editors there, uh, Jake Finch and Melissa Thompson Marr, they decided they wanted to keep going and start their own magazine. So they started Generation Q and took me along with them. And not only did I continue my column there, I also became the creative director of Generation Q for the first five issues. So I actually did design, <laughs> which is a whole other story in itself. Um, but, you know, I, I like to say that it was being bad at quilting that made me a quilting humorist, but it's being a quilting humorist that has kept me quilting all these years because I still do it and I still love it and I think it's because it does make me laugh. I think quilting is funny because I think the world is funny but I also think it's because quilting can be really hard especially if you want to branch out and if you want to do things that are a little bit different or a little bit harder. That can be really challenging and when you screw up it can be so easy to just go, you know what, no, I'm done, I'm not doing this, I, I don't want to keep going. But when you laugh at yourself about it, it makes you able to go, you know what, yeah, I can. And whenever I have that moment of thinking, I can't do this, I can't keep going, I remember when you do the kind of stuff I do, you, you have a blog and you have a column in a magazine, people write to you a lot. And, you know, a lot of it is, that was the dumbest thing I ever read, why are you doing this? But some of it is, thank you for making me laugh. And I got one letter probably uh, around eh, 2009 or so from this woman. And she said, I want you to know that in the last year, I've been suffering from postpartum depression. And it's been the worst year of my life. And I haven't, she said, it's so hard to get out of bed. And it's so hard to do anything. And I've got this beautiful baby. And I'm having such a hard time enjoying her and life has just been so bleak. But she said, every few days, I get on my computer and I check your blog to see if you've written anything. And if you have, it just makes me laugh so much. And there's, your blog is the only thing that has made, been able to make me laugh in this last year. When nothing else could, you did. And because you made me laugh, I get up the next day and I know I can keep going. So I think it's wonderful to find the humor in everything you possibly can because that really just makes everything worthwhile. Whether it's your really screwy binding or <laughs> raising your kids or the job you do, finding something funny in it I think helps a lot.
And I just wanted to show you, this is the quilt that started it all. You see the two rows that are upside down. <laughs> and you're welcome to, I'll leave it over here, you're welcome to, to see my crazy binding, which looks like, you know, a panicked squirrel without the controls of the machine. But it does get better. Like I said, I've been laughing about quilting for years, and now I do stuff like that. This is my own design, and, you know, everything improves. Even panic squirrels can improve their quilting. So I'm going to do one more thing for you. I wanted to read something out of the book, and I thought, well, maybe I'll read the, the piece about the binding. But it's actually one of the first things I ever wrote, and it's not that great. And I thought, well, you know, we're here at a quilt shop. And I'm going to read something that's actually from Generation Q magazine that is um, my little love letter to little quilt shops like this, which I love so much because you walk in and everybody says hello and they're so helpful and they're so wonderful and it's not like that so much when you go to the big box stores. So I wrote this piece. This is for um, the November-December issue of Generation Q. It's called Thank You for Calling. And it's about what it's like when you try to call one of the big box fabric stores and get some customer service. Thank you for calling Quilt Stuff for Less, your one-stop shop for all your discount quilting needs. We carry all your favorite fabrics from top designers such as Beulah Frank, Coffee Fawcett, Kathy Dizzy Mouse, and more. And don't forget, every Tuesday is Coupon Frenzy Day where you and hundreds of other shoppers compete in grueling tests of patience as you stand in line for hours waiting for the person to register to find a coupon that actually matches the stuff she wants to buy. To reach our fabric department, press 1. Beep. Thank you for calling the fabric department at Quilt Stuff for Less. To hear about our specials on Leeway of Lancaster Fabrics, press 1. To learn more about our Super Shopper Club card, where you can save up to 5% on fabric purchases over 20 yards, some restrictions apply, discount may not be used on designer fabrics, premium fabrics, sale fabrics, or fabrics that have any aesthetic appeal whatsoever. <laughs> For only $99.95 a year, press 2. To cancel your Super Shopper Club card membership, please go to our website and click on Customer Service, then Super Shopper Club, then Cancel My Membership. And then, under Are You Sure You Wish to Cancel, click Yes. And then, under Are You Really, Really Sure, <laughs> click Yes. And then, fill out the form stating all your reasons for cancellation, print, and mail to the corporate office. <laughs> Please note, envelopes containing death threats will result in an automatic three-year extension of your Super Shopper Club membership. <laughs> to speak to the fabric department manager, press 3. Beep. Hi, and thank you for calling. I am either serving customers with a smile or stocking our shelves with even more great fabric bargains for you. I am absolutely not hanging out in the alley behind the store with Shid, Sid from Shipping and Receiving, and anybody who says so is a dirty liar. <laughs> to complain about service you received in the fabric department, press 1. To complain about fabric you purchased, press 2. To complain about the sticky spot on the floor that never goes away, please plus three. And to complain about me and Sid, bite me. <laughs> <laughs> to speak to the store manager, press four. Beep. Hi, and thank you for calling. I am not available at the moment either because I am in my court-ordered anger management session <laughs> or I am throttling an employee within an inch of her life. No, wait, forget I said that. It is more likely that I'm working the register because someone didn't show up again or I'm cutting fabric because someone is up to shenanigans in the alley behind the store with Sid from shipping and receiving. <laughs> yeah, Katie, we all know about it. No one's jealous. We're all just kind of grossed out. <laughs> so basically, I'm trying to do my job plus theirs, and I can't be everywhere at once, so if you could just lay off and let me do my job in peace, then maybe I won't burn this whole place down and you'll still have some place to shop tomorrow, okay? <laughs> to leave me a message, press 1. <laughs> to report shenanigans, press 2. <laughs> to apply for employment, take a large stick, a good knobby one, and beat yourself over the head with it. <laughs> or press 3, the end result's the same. <laughs> to inquire about booking a child's birthday party with Lulu the Fiber Clown, press 4. Beep! Thank you for calling the party department where we make your birthday boy or girl's day extra special with fun projects using Lulu the Fiber Clown fabrics. 
all Lulu fabrics have been thoroughly tested on buddies and monkeys and have been declared probably safe by independent <laughs> labs that are only connected to quilt stuff for less by virtue of being owned by the same umbrella corporation, United Petroleum and Hydrocarbons. <laughs> <laughs> to book a party room, press 1 for instructions on how to remove the Lulu the Fiber Clown fabric dye residue from the clothing, upholstery, walls, and children, press 2. To, resport, to report skin rashes, eyeball swelling, oh or hallucinations God. after exposure to Lulu fabrics, press 3. <laughs> for the legal department, press 4. Beep. Thank you for calling the legal department. <laughs> Abandon all hope, ye who press numbers here. To be taken through a labyrinthine maze of options and messages for all eternity, press 1. To sell us your immortal soul, press 2. To end this call, press 0. Beep. Thank you for calling Quilt Stuff for Less, your one-stop shop for all your discount <laughs> quilting needs. Call us again soon. <laughs> So that gives you a little taste of what you'll find in the book. So um, I have books. I will be doing some signing if you're interested. And thank you so much. Thank you, Allison, for having me. Thank you for coming. And um, thank you. <laughs>